Hey y'all, um, it's me. I'm currently at work on lunch or whatever, and I just wanted to record this video. Pretty much, as y'all can see by the title. Um, one thing that I want a lot of people to start doing is believing in themselves. Um, one thing that I personally have um like a problem with is believing in myself and it's it's so crazy because for one i'm a mental health therapist so i'm pretty sure all y'all know that but um it's crazy because i sit here and i talk to like girls who are like in high school boys who are in high school you know in middle school and the first thing they say is like oh i have low self-esteem i have low confidence i have like you know I don't really like how I look. I'm not really, you know, as popular in school as like the other people. And like, I don't like the way I look and stuff like that. So my first thing that comes to mind is like, I felt the same way in high school. Like I felt like in middle, like elementary school, like nobody liked me. Like I didn't have any friends like whatsoever like I remember getting bullied I remember like walking to the bus one day and like these group of girls were like talking junk and just like following me all the way to my bus and I was small like my frame size I'm real small but I'm tall but I'm just like you know and those girls were known for like you know fighting and things like that so I'm just like I ain't really been in two I only been in two fights and I well three really um and I won those three but at the same time those were like random fights pretty much you know like it wasn't like a group of people it was just um one person so pretty much yeah like I got bullied in elementary school and then going to middle school I started to like develop friends and it kind of like getting bullied kind of like mess with my confidence in a sense early um and I would get like in elementary school I remember moving down there from where I'm from and I think like the first day of school second day of school or something like that like my forehead would peel and it will only be like in the summertime when my forehead would peel and i'm just like i don't want to go to school like i don't know why my forehead was peeling thank god it stopped but i can never figure out why it was so back to the incident with the like girls and stuff like i remember going home and like telling my mom like i don't want to go to school like i'm getting like low-key bully like i'm scared of these girls like they're bigger they're bigger than me it's more than one so yeah and um she would have me like pray or whatever and um I would sleep like under I would sleep with the pillow under my bible so eventually like they stopped or whatever and the thing is it was like dark skin girls like all of them was dark skin like I've always had other girls not like me and they were all dark skin and i always wonder like what like why don't they like me like you know um back then it was real heavy with the light skin versus dark skin type of thing and i was just like you know whatever but i would get bullied to the point where they'd be like oh you look like michael jackson or oh you're albino and oh you're this and all you're that which i started like believing those type of things like i started believing that i was white not black like i started believing that like this is how i look like oh your forehead is big oh your nose is big like i started really like g getting into heavy into those things like oh this is like who i am because other people are saying it so um yeah like a lot of girls will bully me and i'll be like you know what i'm i'm not gonna say anything because it's it's never been where one girl would bully me if one girl was bullying me of course i would handle my business but it will always be a group of girls and no matter if we went to a party if we went to the store to the mall anywhere it's never just one person that 
come for me it's always with a group of people and i'm just like there's no way i can take on all these people so the best thing i'm gonna do is not say nothing because i ain't trying to get jumped <laughs> so fast forward to middle school i started making friends in middle school but then um crazy thing is like my best friend like one of my best friends we started off like not liking each other and again it was a group of girls it was like her friends and her versus me and my friends and i'm just like here we go again like it's always a group of friends but like she never bullied me or anything like that it was just like petty middle school type of stuff but um yeah in middle school i probably had like one friend and the crazy thing is we're still friends to this day and throughout the whole four years in middle school that's the only friend i gained like and kept um the only reason why I, I probably made other friends but if we haven't talked in years i don't consider you a friend so um yeah i've only had one i only gained one friend in in middle school and we're still friends to this day like i said but and then also y'all what the crazy thing is like all my friends are dark skinned that's the crazy thing about it like i've all every time i've had problems with somebody somebody was bullying me they were always dark skin and all my friends are dark skin i'm the lightest friend out of all my friends and that's crazy because that's what you that's the color that used to like bully me all the time so my like confidence and stuff would go down and then I got to high school and when I got to high school it was just like a complete like everybody against Deanna and I was just like bruh <coughs> I'm like bruh I can't catch a break for nothing every time I turned around y'all it was somebody not liking me and they wouldn't have a reason like <coughs> I can probably count one person out of my entire four years of high school who didn't like me who had a reason and that's only because i took her boyfriend from her that's the only person that should have had a problem with me in high school which was her and to this day y'all we graduated high school in 2012 it's 2021 that girl still don't like me but i mean i wouldn't like somebody who took my boyfriend either but then it's just like you should do what you did to keep up but okay y'all i had to go back and see what was the last thing i said because my boyfriend called but anyway so yeah i feel like that's the only person who should have had a problem with me in high school everybody else their reasons weren't really valid and then the thing is like y'all i gravitate more to males than i do females so i had a period of time where pretty much like all the the popular dudes were like my friends or whatever and like a lot of girls didn't like that a lot of girls thought like oh she messed with them baby no like i just grab it like my personality is more on like the masculine side than it is like the feminine side i don't know why it just is like i ain't gonna lie sometimes i do want to be a nigga like i do and i feel like i have like nigga tendencies to the point where like Sometimes I be having to to chill with my thoughts and like how I act sometimes. So yeah, but anyway, um, so yeah, pretty much like high school was cool. Um, couple of people had problems, but nobody never really did anything. And that's the problem, y'all. Everybody always had a problem with me, but nobody really came up to me and was like, "Look, let's fight." Nobody out of the four years of high school, out of the four years of uh middle school can't say elementary school because they were trying to jump me but they never did but out of those eight years between middle school with middle school and high school nobody ever was like look bro meet me at the park today we're gonna fight nobody everybody was always talk everybody was always like social media gangsters everybody was always like telling their friends like oh i don't like her i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that but never really did so I remained untouched which in a sense at that time i was like okay cool this is good because i haven't been in a fight since i don't even know like elementary school and 
it wasn't really like a full on like fight fight, you know? So I was just like, okay, like I don't, I really don't know how to fight. So if they really be like, let's square up, I'm just be like, you're just going to have to beat me up. <laughs> but no. So I say all of that is because, because I didn't have like a lot of like friends or I didn't have a lot of people who were like, who like me, I lack confidence. Like, I would try stuff on or I would be like, yeah, I want to look like this or yeah, I want to dress like this. I want to dress like this person or that person. Like, in, in high school, I became like wanting to be like other people so bad so people can, can like me. I'm like, you know, she's tall. She has long hair. She's light skinned. Girls like her. So let me try to dress like her or let me try to shop where she shops. Let me try to talk how she talk. Like, I would literally like try to research people to be like to be like them and it wasn't working because people still didn't like me so I'm like so because I don't have a lot of friends because a lot of people don't like me then I'm just a loner like whatever like I and then when I started making friends like I wanted to be around them all the time because that was the only time I felt like I was like important or I felt like I was a part of something or I felt like this is where I fit in it and a lot of the times like in high school I would joke about a lot of stuff but that was just like me joking to cover up the fact that like I didn't have no no confidence like the only time I would be like yeah I look good or yeah this or yeah that is like when I was with my friends and once I got like home back by myself I'm just like yeah. And I tell a lot of my patients is the thing is you have to find yourself. Like you have to find what's comfortable for you, not what's comfortable for somebody else. Because her dressing at Charlotte Ruth, buying clothes at Charlotte Ruth doesn't mean she's better than you if you get things from rainbows. Make it your own personality. Like, you know, and that's something that I struggle a lot with is like confidence sometimes. Like Honestly, no, like all jokes aside, like I'm only 27. So the 27 years I've been alive, I never had as much like confidence in myself until I met my boyfriend. And like, I don't know. It's just, it's hard to explain that a person will come into your life and just completely like change it. Well, it's not hard to explain, but you know, it's like my confidence is starting to like get there where it should have been the entire time. Not saying that it's going to take like a partner or somebody else to build your confidence, but sometimes it do. Sometimes you need to, to hear that from somebody else. Not saying it's like you seek validation or anything like that, but just a reminder. But you know, it's it's always good to tell yourself that, like, fuck what anybody got to say, excuse my language, but I'm me. Like, either you take it or you leave it. Like, this is how I am. This is how I'm going to be. Like, this is what I'm comfortable in. So I'm going to show that at all times. And I felt like back then, the only way to express your personality was, like, through your clothes. And that's because that's how everybody, you know, made it seem to be like, oh, if you don't have the latest Jordans or the latest ones, or if you're not getting your clothes from here, like, bro, you really ain't shit. And that's how I felt. So I would try to go and shop at those places and wonder why I wasn't successful with finding stuff that actually matched my personality is because I didn't know who I was. And honestly, to this day, I don't know who I am outside of being a therapist outside of being a, a mom outside of being a girlfriend i just know those three roles that's and i play them but at the same time i have to realize that i was a person before i got those titles i was a person before i became a mom i was a person before i became a therapist so i can't sit here and tell somebody else like hey you need to do this you need to do that and i don't take my own advice which this job really helped me like becoming a mental health therapist really helped me figure like out who I am like what I want to be like what I want to do which direction I want to go in but the hardest part for me and it could be the hardest part for you too is making that decision and doing it like like I said like I'm really heavily invested and want to become like a actual like full-time youtuber but I just can't it's just sometimes I just can't dedicate 
all my time to it or sometimes i can't dedicate my thoughts to be like look let's get it together like let's film a video of you talking of you doing anything like i because sometimes i'm like oh i feel like i'm boring by myself or oh i don't travel as much as other people or i don't have like a fashion sense or i have a fashion sense it's it may not be what all the other YouTubers do, or it may not be what the celebrities do. Of course, it ain't what celebrities do, because we on two different financial levels. But, <laughs> but you know, like, I have to remember that I got to make fun out of everything. Like, everything isn't so serious. And pretty much what I came on here to tell y'all, I know it's been, I don't know how long, but um, a couple, like, 20 minutes I've been talking, I feel like. But what I pretty much came on here to tell y'all is, like, don't give up like always believe in yourself like no matter what like life is all about taking risks everything you do you're not gonna you're not going to succeed the first time um you can get like they say you get knocked down nine times but you get up 10 like you get up every every time you get up you get up 10 times stronger every single time like don't let anybody take anything from you don't let nobody take that you finish high school don't let nobody take that you have four kids and you're only 25 like don't let anybody take anything that you feel like is a, in a is an accomplishment don't let anybody take that away no matter what like always believe in yourself always go strong always be confident always motivate yourself to do better and better each and every day like life goes on like you're you're going to fail at some some point you're not going to always succeed and remember that like it's okay to fail because failures teach you lessons it's okay to make mistakes it's okay to not agree with somebody it's okay to leave that relationship it's okay to leave that friendship it's okay to leave that state it's okay to leave that that job like everything is okay it's it's okay to do those things it's okay to to you know it's pretty much nothing is perfect like nothing is ever going to go the way you plan it every single time nine times out of ten things happen for a reason like they always say is it either it's a blessing or it's a lesson take it always for the good always seek positive in any negative situation never let your negative thoughts control your positive thoughts like if you're that negative type of person switch your switch it like change your mindset don't always think negative not everything is going to end up in a bad situation you know sometimes you can be stalling on a decision as soon as you make that decision it's been the best decision of your life act on whatever it is you want to do take that step step out in faith like step out without fear like that's pretty much like step out without fear like as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do as long as you're taking those steps everything will work out keep faith keep god like like i said like speak it pray it live it like no matter what like be driven at all single times of your life like and that's all I got to say. Have a good day. <laughs>